is Hannah Song. I'm the president of Link Liberty in North Korea. So a group of us are here um, partnering with an international uh, campaign called Save My Friend. And the idea of this is to protest the Chinese government and ask them to, asking them to release 30 North Korean refugees that are currently uh, arrested and are uh, scheduled to be sent back to North Korea. And so we're here to ask the Chinese government not to repatriate these uh, 30 North Korean refugees. So we have an opportunity to be a part of this global movement that's been happening. It was started in Seoul uh, under the banner called Save My Friend. Uh, it was just a few concerned citizens in South Korea who decided that they wanted to, uh, they heard about this group of 30 North Korean refugees that were arrested in China and uh, they wanted to put this uh, global attention on China uh, to encourage them to not send them back because of China's policy of repatriating North Korean refugees. Uh, this is also an important uh, situation because it is the first known group of refugees uh, since the new Kim Jong-un regime has been in place. And so from what we have heard from North Korean refugees uh, and people still in the country, uh, they've told us that they've been warned by the government that there will be uh, extreme punishments for individuals who try to escape or who have uh, escaped. So. Um, so, 30 North Korean refugees are being held by the Chinese government right now, and um, the Chinese government is threatening to repatriate them where they will face execution or um, life in prison for So um, we're here just to kind of raise awareness um, and bring attention, especially here at the Chinese consulate. Well, they estimate that there's, there's um, 30, between 30 to 50,000 refugees hiding in China uh, today. And uh, this is normal practice for, for the Chinese government to uh, send North Korean refugees back because they don't consider them to be refugees, but they consider them to be economic uh, migrants. And so, uh, although China is a signatory to the 1951 convention, uh, demanding or mandating them to protect uh, refugees, uh, they look at them as economic migrants and send them back. And so this is uh, an important, I guh, guess, case because these 30 refugees uh, supposedly are, will be the first group of refugees to be sent back under the new um, Kim Jong-un regime. And so we are, are out here uh, pleading on, on behalf of the Chinese government not to send these, these group of refugees back. All right, so uh, how did you feel about that? Um, great, this is, this is an awesome turnout. And um, hopefully, you know, even, even the people who work here that are walking out, hopefully it will just bring this to their attention. Um, it's a great way to get people involved. And it's still too early to tell um, how different the Kim Jong-un regime will be uh, from that of his father. Uh, but we have seen reports and have heard that uh, these 30 refugees would be punished severely um, if they are sent back. And so that concerns us and we can do something now by, by protesting, by signing a petition at SaveMyFriend.org. We can help free these uh, 30 North Korean refugees and ask the Chinese government not to send them back. Yeah, so uh, how many more of, uh, um, of these kind of events are going to be uh, going on around here? Um, I know they've had some other protests this week for the same issue. Um, this one Link wanted to get involved with just because there's been a huge amount of people signing the petition online, um, 160,000 I think in the last day. And so they want to take advantage of this opportunity to just um, raise awareness and let people know what's going on and peacefully protest and um, So, just you know, we've heard um, stories from refugees and, and, and uh, that there are, different, there are different types of punishment that could happen. Uh, you could be sent to a political prison camp, to re-education camps. Uh, you know, there are extreme cases where refugees have been tortured and even executed. Uh, and so uh, we're not exactly sure what potentially um, can happen, but we know that, uh, that this, this case is very serious, that the case for specifically these 30 North Korean refugees is serious. And it's even been threatened that up to three generations of these refugees' families could also be imprisoned. Um, and, and perhaps even executed. And so this is a very important situation that we can advocate for now. Okay. Now, uh, basically, basically, what do you feel that the average American uh, would uh, know about this sort of issue? Or how much do you think they would know? So I think the average American usually associates North Korea with um, nuclear bombs um, and military aspects, but 
what we wanted to do with this peaceful protest is just make it a real human issue. Um, it's about these people's lives. And, um, you know, the refugees that are caught, their mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, and, um, you know, it's, it's really just a human issue for us. And so, so I think, I think usually people think of North Korea in a negative light, uh, but the people of North Korea don't deserve to be I'm extremely hopeful that if, if more people come together and we get more media exposure to this issue, uh, that these 30 North Korean refugees um, can be freed. It's going to take a lot of people uh, advocating. It's going to take a lot of people um, going to SaveMyFriend.org to sign the petition. But I am, uh, I am optimistic that we can do something. And I hope that people will come together to sign this petition so that we can see these 30 North Korean refugees freed. We've, uh, you know, we have learned and heard uh, that the UNHCR, so branch of the UN, uh, United, uh, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, is working in China, uh, but does not have access to the border region where North Korean refugees are fleeing. Uh, and I think that one of the ways that the UN can get involved is to, uh, or China, if China allowed the UNHCR um, to at least observe the border regions and to assess for themselves if this is a refugee crisis. Uh, I think that if, if we were able to see that happen, um, perhaps the UN could have a stronger voice. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please go to SaveMyFriend.org and sign the petition. I think right now we're, we're trying to get about 500,000 signatures and we're out on 160,000. And so uh, please sign the petition and, and share it with your friends. I think everyone, there's a lot that can be done uh, to bring further awareness to the North Korea crisis. Uh, the first thing you can do is use your voice. And if you're online, if you're, if you're connected to social media platforms, uh, you can uh, you know, share what's happening with, with uh, Save My Friend online and, and, and hopefully it'll spread, spread virally. You can get involved if you're locally here in Los Angeles, you can get involved with an organization called Link, Liberty in North Korea, uh, to either volunteer or, or work with the organization. Uh, but I think it starts with at least telling one or two people about what's happening in and around North Korea. And hopefully from there, uh, we'll see uh, the message spread and, and we'll see more people get involved.